We know identity theft can happen to anyone. Local 12 troubleshooter Howard Ain with the steps you can take to minimize problems. These days, it's more important than ever to carefully review your bank and credit card statements. You need to check for unauthorized activity. That's what the daughter of an elderly woman learned. There was not a penny in her account, not in her checking account, not in her savings account. Georgine Woodley was shocked when her 86-year-old mother called saying she was getting delinquency notices. As a co-signer on her account, she quickly contacted the bank. You know, you went and you opened up your card, you swiped it at the bank, and I said, I never did that. And so I said, I never asked for a card. The middle school teacher now knew someone had stolen her mother's identity and more than $17,000 from her accounts. My mother was frightened. She really was afraid and um, I was just angry. I was really mad and I think that's one of the reasons why I took kind of took matters in my own hands. Georgine started calling the stores where the items were purchased. They got cards, they got computers, you name it, they got it. And so I just started calling and I said, do you have any footage? As you can see, they did. These surveillance photos show a man using a card belonging to Regine's mother at several stores. It was a situation where there's basically uh, buying all they could as quick as they could. Officials say the card was likely stolen from Regine's rural mailbox. The victim indicated to me that she had uh, given uh, instructions to the financial institution to send it to her P.O. box, but it was in fact delivered uh, to her uh, curbside mailbox. Georgine's mother has now moved in with her, but she wants to remind others to talk to their parents about checking their statements and accounts. I think they have to have somebody that's helping them and reminding them. The defendant in this case pleaded guilty and was sentenced to more than five years in prison. He was also ordered to pay almost $17,000 restitution. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter.